rock a bye baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, Gil! Gil, what are you doing? We're walking around like some long legged stork. Not so loud, Cap, and please don't say stork. Gil, what has gone into you? You. Captain, please watch your step. What am I stepping on? It's just sand. Captain, it isn't sand. This is a nursery. You mean like where plants grow? No, I mean like where babies grow. Gil, have you lost your mind? No, Cap. Last night I saw hundreds of sea turtle mommies come up on the beach and lay their eggs. On this beach? Yes. Oh. Careful, careful. How many eggs are there? Hundreds, maybe thousands, all buried under the sand to keep them safe. Wow, their moms protect them the same way God protects us. Well, I like to think God protects us a little bit better. God doesn't leave us to fend for ourselves alone, but yeah, God looks out for us and keeps us safe, just like these little ones. We gotta get off this beach. Gil, come on. Yes, Cap. These little guys deserve a chance to live. Yes, they do. And when they're full grown, They'll taste amazing with some lemon butter. No, sir, don't say lemon butter in front of the babies. Let's talk about sea turtles. If you've seen Finding Nemo, you might think sea turtles can live for a hundred something years and know that the babies are adorable, but there's a lot more to a sea turtle's life cycle. There are seven species of sea turtle. Hawksbill, Olive Ridley, Kemp's Ridley, Flatback, the Enormous Leatherback, Loggerhead, and the Green Sea Turtle. Each species has their own life cycle, but we'll focus on the family as a whole instead of the individuals. We'll start at stage one, the eggs. Every two to four years, pregnant mothers crawl on the beach, bury a pit in the sand, and lay their eggs. They cover up the pit, head back to sea, and after six to 12 weeks, poof, adorable baby turtles are cracking their shell, wailing out of the sand, and hilariously flapping their flippers across the beach. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. <laughs> 